Hey guys, so welcome back to Sending Roll Fishing. I am filming on a broken tripod right now, so just hang in here with me. Um, um, I say um a lot. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to organize your soft plastics. Um, here where I live, the ponds are frozen, everything's frozen, so you guys are just gonna have to deal with um, sit down videos, how to do st some stuff. So right now I have on my phone, um, pulled up all the things that I own. So right now I have three so three bags of six inch. These are all six inch products. Um, I am a six inch geek. I love six inch um things. I have a lot of six six inch uh crankbaits and all that. Um, so um I want to tell you guys how much they are and how much that is. So let's see if we can get it to focus. So the small ones are. Nine ninety nine, so like ten bucks, and then the large ones are fourteen ninety nine. Um, those are I have two small ones. Uh, this one is the oldest. Um, pretty. This one isn't that old. Um, but I've had it for like a few, uh, two years maybe, maybe one, almost two years. Uh, I got this one for Christmas. Uh, got this one for my birthday, and I got this one for Christmas. I am going, so literally all you can do is just go to sixcents.com, uh, go to c collections, no, gear, and then you hit, um, beta zip bags, um, and here they are, um, so they're just pretty cheap, um, the, uh, big one is ten bucks, and then the small one's nine bucks, so I got the camo one, I, um, I decided to, I want some, some of my stuff to match, so I got a camo big bag and a camo soft, um, this one, uh, so I'm gonna go over how I organize them, um, so as you can see, some of these have, um, names on them, these two do not, because I lost the things, so right here, we have some worms, and I have a paddle, uh, tail swim bait in here because it can't fit in this one so um so i have a lot um so this one's just mostly got um worms um i got all kinds of sorts of worms i got uh paddle tail worms um got the paddle on them and i got some worms that i made myself um some one more i made for myself soon smoking it Smoky Shad, the next one. So this is just mostly worms. And then I got a Simpsons Divine Shaky Head Worm. I just figured I'd put it in there to keep the forms. And then I just mostly shove it all back in here. Um, I do want to leave um, some room for some more things. So it is a six inch. It's pretty, it's pretty bright bag. I, you guys don't understand how bright it is until you actually get it it's pretty bright um and then this one is um the gray one the light gray that you guys see on the page it's not really light it's dark it's a dark gray um i can't open this with one hand um this is my ned rig um my finesse finesse baits um got some up here that i made myself um some flukes, um, uh, tubes, flipping tubes, regular tubes, the Koshi bug, drop shot, um, flukes, flukes, medric, uh, ZRD, TRD, big, big TRD, TRD call. I recently just got this, um, for Christmas, um, so these just can't, those just came out, um, some more, and then, uh, drop shot, giving bait, minnow, and then some rattle on the nets. So, um, hold on. So, I have had these for a while. Um, I've had this one, this one for a while. Um, but I have loved, fell in love, especially since I have my own boat go from boat to boat and it's pretty hard to take um lures and all that especially tackle 
tackle trays, um, and every like pliers. Everything's just hard to take. Um, so we're gonna go on this one. This one's still got its tag on it. I haven't had time to take some tags off or any lures. So I got some homemade ones in here, and then I got some rage rage swimmers in here. So that's um, you can put anything in here. I just um, I get into swim baits and all that, and then I got some swim baits, um, soft body swim baits, and I get into that um, swim baits all a lot because I use chatter baits, jigs, all the um, swim jigs. So um creature baits i have um you guys can see the front's a little um not up uh, as heavy because um because it's not um but i have some guggen toad guggen let's turn this around i got some guggen toads um some craw uh creature bait number one another creature um then these are crawls um, I have a lot of crawls, you can tell. Um, homemade baits, homemade, uh, these ones I haven't tried, but they are watermelon, gold, red. Um, pretty crazy color. And then I have, um, some green bait, green pumpkin, crack and crawls, rattle and chunk, rattle and chunk. And then I have some Berkeley fresh hogs, uh, you can bait trench hog, you can bait trench hog mini, um, and then some zoom. So it's it's just mainly super easy. Um, when you take time and do um, this, and um, when you get um, things organized, I find it, in my personal um, opinion, helpful. Um, but like my camera. My camera case is right over there, and it's organized because I am a need. I need my equipment to be organized because if I don't know where it's at, you won't be able to find it quickly in tournaments. So that's why I have three, four things of these. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I am going to make it work. Like, my registration is in a certain spot where I know where it's at. I keep all of my uh, lures that I buy online um, package is because if I don't know the color and I catch a lot of fish on it, I need to know. So thank you guys so much for liking this video. I did uh, make a hold on. I did make a new hat. So if you guys like the hat, please. Uh, let me know um, if you guys help me get to thirty. 50 subscribers, I mean, sorry, we're at 36 right now. Help me get to 50 subscribers and you'll get a hat. And we'll just keep going up from there, I hope. Um, this is my third up time uploading this week, uh, this month. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Like, subscribe, and uh, leave some comments down below on what you guys want to know. I'll respond as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.